Hey everybody, uh, Brian from Weapon Brand and Combat Athlete Performance Academy. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time, if I could, to uh, first off offer our condolences and my condolences to uh, the families in Texas with the uh, most recent recent uh, tragedy that we've had, um, and not just that, but the uh, multiple tragedies and um, active aggressor types of events that we've had throughout the nation just over the past even couple weeks. Uh, I wanted to take this time also to uh, explain what our focus is, especially with the name that we have, Weapon Brand. Um, sometimes that's that's getting a little bit of a uh, uh, misconstrued um, idea of what we teach and what we're what our company represents. Um, guys, our company, Weapon Brand, represents making yourself a weapon. Uh, no matter what it is against anything, whether it's a, uh, a bad guy, a, an opponent, a sickness, a disease, um, whether it's through fitness, whether it's through um, nutrition, um, exercise, or any of the training sessions and seminars that we provide, um, our whole theory is if we can make you your own first responder and make you uh, your own weapon, um, those secondary devices that you may use, um, which we're indifferent to, will be just that. They'll be secondary. Um, those secondary devices, everybody, um, they deserve training, obviously. Um, and that's some training that we provide. However, let me just make this clear that um, Jamie and I, co-owner of Weapon Brand, um, we are entirely indifferent to the idea of uh, carrying a firearm and that goes for all of our instructors we wouldn't have instructors on there unless we all had the same type of focus and um, we are indifferent to the idea of carrying a firearm only because we know there's pros and cons we know there's there's a lot of pros to carrying a firearm as well as there's a lot of negatives um, so what our stance is is if you are going to carry a firearm uh, own a firearm um, just even be around a firearm whether it's our classes or anybody else's classes, guys, get the training and take something. Um, and it's not only training to just shoot better, it's training to, um, which is, is so far, um, our training so far overlooked as far as, um, we don't make you better shooters just by taking to the range. We make you better shooters and more responsible gun owners. Um, by dry firing exercises, um, fundamentals, carrying fundamentals, um, handling fundamentals, and even just safekeeping fundamentals. Um, if you have a firearm in your home and you don't have the proper measures in place to keep that firearm safe or to be able to get to it yourself safely in an event, in my opinion, you shouldn't even have that firearm. Um, so as far as weapon brand goes, let's make this very clear to everybody that um, we don't care if you have a gun. What we do care about is if you have the training to own that gun or to carry that gun. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to be pretty frank here and, and let you know as, as a person that's trained with guns for a, a better part of my life. Um, guys, going to the range a couple months isn't going to make you a better shooter. It's not going to make you a safer gun owner. Uh, getting extra training and understanding how to keep that gun safe away from or, or even with your children or anybody in and out of your house, whether it's a good guy or a bad guy, that's what's going to matter. It's going to matter how you handle that firearm under pressure. Uh, are you able to handle that firearm if somebody's running at you? Guys, a piece of paper doesn't run at you. It doesn't swear at you. It doesn't insult you. It doesn't threaten you. Um, that piece of paper stands still and it's stationary and you're shooting at a paper target a couple times a month and it may get you better at some sight alignment type stuff, but it's not going to get you better at handling that gun in a high stress situation uh, where you have to hold on to that gun and then possibly uh, help your family or, or, or another loved one or even somebody else that their, their life is in danger. So let me just get back to uh, back to business here. Weapon brand, we make weapons. Uh, we make weapons out of you. If you have a gun, awesome. We'll get you better at using that gun and get you safer at using that gun and even holding that gun or owning that gun. Uh, but our stance is we are indifferent to it. Um, we just know the responsibilities that come with it.
our stance once again is to make you your own weapon. Uh, we've got the experience, the instructors, we've got the availability uh, and the training uh, to get rid of all these misconceptions that you've had in the past about defending yourself and uh, we will make you safer. Um, one of those classes that we have, the seminars that we have right now is a very realistic active shooter type of training um, where it gets rid of those misconceptions that somebody's coming to save you within seconds which is, a, is like I said a total misconception and Understand that, that law enforcement across uh, the United States, their national average response time is 18 to 20 minutes. Now in your area, it may be uh, three minutes, maybe an hour. Uh, in this course, we teach you how to protect yourself if you have to, and that being get away first. We teach you how to look at these universal behavioral patterns. We teach you how to then fight if you can't avoid it. And then um, so many other classes we provide that, that offer the, the same types of skills. Uh, we have things such as ride share programs. We have things um, where we're teaching ride share drivers how to protect themselves in a vehicle. Uh, we have basic self-defense all the way up from level, level one to level five, and then specialty courses involving ground courses, um, knife defense courses. But here's the bottom line, everybody. That's what our company does. Our company uh, will make you a weapon, make you more aware of your surroundings, um, make your uh, family safer, your community safer, your neighborhood safer. But whether you're getting it from us or you're getting it from somebody else, just please do yourself um, a huge favor in protecting you and your family and find something. Uh, there's too many bad guys right now out there that think they can get the upper hand once they get their hands um, either on any type of a weapon or even just using their own hands. Uh, get some type of training that, that, that's going to um, keep your family safer. Uh, these events that are happening across the U.S., uh, you personally getting that training may not stop these, uh, these tragedies. However, it's going to help save your life if, if one does break out. And um, that's our whole goal. Our whole goal with Weapon Brand is to make you a weapon. And um, it's against anything that you're fighting. So once again, uh, our hearts go out to the families in Texas. Our hearts go out to the families uh, in Buffalo uh, and all the other events. And quite honestly, our hearts will go out to the event that happens tomorrow or the next day. Because guys, uh, this is the world that we live in right now, so uh, please find a way to protect yourself and stay safe. Uh, last thing I'll tell you is, is don't let this give you any type of a negative uh, perspective on humans or even Americans. Um, just remember, everybody, that there are a lot more better people out there, a lot more good people than bad people. And uh, our goal is to protect you against that one that could possibly change your life. So... Uh, Keep staying safe, and uh, hopefully you, you listen to this, this video in entirety and, and, and pass it along. Uh, other than that, uh, we thank everybody for our support. We're going to just keep building this thing and, and keep making people safer.